What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm going to be showing you guys a one card combo that ends on a crazy board. Now before we keep going here, just make sure to like the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Now this one card combo can be done with multiple different cards so it's very very consistent. This deck is very very fun and I don't want to keep the intro too long so with that let's get into the combo. Now for this one card combo all you need is a Psy Reflector. Now it can also be Emergency Teleport. Of course Emergency Teleport summons your Psy Reflector from your deck. So one or the other but it's a one card combo nevertheless. So all you're going to do here is just start off by summoning your Psy Reflector. You're going to activate its effect of course to search your Assault Beast. Then you're going to activate your Assault Beast effect here. Search your Assault Mode Activate. You're going to use Psy Reflector's effect now. Now this is all like, this is the nice thing about Psy Reflector and why it's so powerful right now, especially with Etelier 3, is that one, it's super like just consistent because you can always get to your Psy Reflector, but two, it's just such a powerful combo. Now here, it doesn't really matter what you increase the level by because what you're going to do is you're going to actually go into Halka Fibrax here. So in a standard Assault Mode, you would just go into like a three, make him a Stardust, set your Assault Mode, activate and pass. But here, this is where we extend the combo, we go even further. So here, we're just going to activate the Halk combo. And I know this is meta and i know a lot of people are going to be like oh but you're just playing meta combos but if you want to be competitive i believe this is the best way to actually take the deck and it pushes it really to its limits right so here of course we summon despot 001 which is very important off of the Hulk. then we're going to summon our aurora dawn so it's essentially just an aurora dawn combo but you do abuse the assault mode package a little bit and you end on stardust dragon assault mode which is also a very powerful card right it's just an omni negate it's just such a powerful card in itself right so here we're going to trigger the despot 001 from the graveyard and like this is kind of standard in terms of the Hulk combo itself but this is kind of where it changes up a little bit so first thing here what you're going to do you're going to make your christian quandax this is because it's a level 4 tuner and that's the most important part about it it's just that it's a tuner and then you're going to use the aurora dawn effect here to summon your colt wing from the deck so it, it's like pretty easy like the combo itself may have a lot of steps but it's actually not that hard of a combo the quandax is just really important here because you just need a level 4 tuner right so here you're going to summon two more tokens and despot is going to activate again despot 001 is going to activate again to summon itself which is really powerful now first thing you're going to do here is you're going to go into your power tool dragon as a level 7 so you're going to summon that but before you continue after this what you're going to do here is because you already have a link monster in your graveyard you're going to go into borrow load savage dragon the reason it's kind of important to go into savage dragon at this point is because if let's say your opponent for some reason still has a hand trap or they want to stop your combo and like stop your power tool like you want to go into savage so at least you have a negate before you continue so then we're going to go into power tool dragon we're going to reveal three fossil dig what now i'm I'm just showing you guys a one card combo but of course in a hand if you already draw your fossil dig the nice thing about it is you can still do this exact same combo but you can reveal your draco back instead and at least it gets you maybe something else into your hand but right now you do need a living fossil so you do want to search it and then what you're going to do is you're simply just going to activate your li living fossil you're going to summon back one of your level one tuners so it could be despot 001 it could be Psy reflector but we're just going to summon despot in this case doesn't really matter and then here you have two options. One, you can just go into Crystal Wing, which is just a monster in the game, it's just another synchro. But here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into Stardust Dragon. And we're just gonna pass. We're gonna set our Assault Mode Activate and pass here. And why that's really important is we're gonna just go proceed to End Phase. All right, now on our opponent's Standby Phase, what we can do here, or I guess in their draw phase, doesn't really matter, but on our opponent's turn, essentially, we're gonna send the Stardust Dragon to our graveyard to summon a Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. So of course you're putting up your Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, which is Omni Negate, and then you're of course putting up a Savage Dragon, which is another Omni Negate. So you're setting up on two Negates at the minimum, and this is just a one card combo. Now I'm gonna show you guys how this deck kind of plays out in a duel and how it can play through hand traps. Because in this duel that I'm about to show you guys, we actually play through both a Negate and a hand trap, and we still push through to win the game. So that's really important. This deck can combo off really easily. It's very, very consistent. And I guess let's just get into the duel. Yeah, okay, here it is, a Sawmill Pile. Alright, Merlin, let's get it. Someone tell me this is not an amazing hand. This is a broken hand. Alright, Lancey doesn't do anything for me here. I feel like if I go first, I pop off. So we're playing through one bounce right now. We don't know if, his, if he has hand traps, but we know he's playing through one bounce. Or one, not one bounce, one negate, sorry. Hmm, I can do this. Oh, it's going through. This is going through. This stream has been real fun. Just got two new deck profiles because they're fun. Bro, I'm telling you, this. I love these kind of deck, like these kind of streams. Like, I, I wanted to get off Master Duel, and I'm like, bro, I missed the actual, like, game, you know what I mean? So I'm happy we got to do this, to be honest. Alright, well, he's probably gonna negate my Psy Reflector. Oh, he's not negating Psy Reflector. Okay, so what, how's the combo work again? I add Beast to my hand, right? Yeah, I add Beast to my hand. 
I just like off-meta decks as drank enthusiast stuff like this is so fun, bro. My entire channel, Sparrow. Even when you tweeted, you're like, why didn't tell me? Why didn't nobody tell me Phantasm Spiral was so fun, bro? I been on Phantasm Spiral. Add beast, use it to revive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know how the combo. I think I know how the combo works. Not 100 sure. Okay, so this got negated, which is good. That's broken. All right, so now we have to learn how to play through this. This is a tuner, right? Should have paid. Yeah, okay. Shut up, spicy. I know you told me to do that earlier, but now I kind of regret not doing that. We can still Hulk combo, or we can just go Verte. Let's go Hulk combo. I want to push this deck to its limits. We should be able to just go off here now. Maybe? Bella's a hell of a card, bro. Bella's a good card. Okay, so let me see if I remember how this combo works. You're going to go activate this. Special summon. So you pop these two. Yo, I can actually play. Yo. Whoa. This deck can combo through multiple negates. Did I do this right? Oh yeah, I did do it right. I did do it right. I did do it right. Yo, say a word pile assault mode is OP. The fact that you summon power tool and start us in the combo, they call me a signer. Is that what they call five? I never watch five D's, to be honest. <laughs> I hate to say it. I'm a, I'm a, cause I know they're called signer dragons. Am I a signer? I think that's what it's called. All right, we'll go battle phase. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I am, I'm legit a signer right now. Yo, this is fun. Wait a second. This is, this is fun. One, two, three, f we have four negates right now. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do. He's probably gonna search water enchantress. Yeah, he has to, because he needs the right of Artemisia for the token. Yo! Wait a minute. Merlin, GG, brother. But. Yo, we may have done something. Merlin, you bricked. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'll be honest. I understand that that wasn't the best hand. But I, I'm not saying this against you. But what I'm saying, though, is the fact that I could play through a, a, a Griffin Negate and a Hand Trap and still do this is kind of lit. Like, that's kind of lit. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I got to show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the combo. And then you guys saw some footage of me playing the deck. That was the first time I ever played the deck, by the way. And you could play through multiple negates and make a really strong board. So I think this deck is really, really fun. If you guys haven't seen the deck profile already, it is already on the channel. So I'll link it in the description below. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And that's really all I got to say. So with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.